Picture this, for years you've believed that one of your parents is bad, abusive, selfish, or unloving. Now, imagine the shock of uncovering the sinister truth behind it all, that you were manipulated to believe lies for years, sometimes even decades, meant to destroy any love that once existed between you and your other parent. This is a form of severe child psychological abuse, often known as parental alienation. This is my story, but it's not just my story. This abuse continues to tear millions of families across the globe apart each day. It's a common form of abuse, however, not many people know much about it. I refuse to let it remain in the shadows. Earlier this month, I met five other brave adult children of parental alienation for the very first time. Not only was it a special, profound healing experience for all of us, but we also put together a historic event, which you are about to watch. Today, I'm elated to share with you this panel discussion. The Anti-Alienation Project, together with the support of the Parental Alienation Study Group, the National Parents Organization, the Psychology Department at Colorado State University, and Psychi, we bring you this revolutionary discussion panel with a special introductory lecture by one of the leading experts in this field, Dr. Jennifer Harmon. Are you ready to unravel the destruction of pathological parenting and to challenge the status quo? Parental alienation of children occurs in families where there is a coercively controlling abusive dynamic between the parental figures. One strategy used by coercively controlling parents is to use their children as weapons as part of their control over the other parent. Now, much of the research on coercive control and abuse stops short here. The focus has been almost entirely on what the parents are doing. But the weaponization of the child affects the child psychologically. And that's where scientists like myself have stepped in. We want to study the impact of what it means to be a weapon. The coercively controlling parent uses what we call parental alienating behaviors to make the child come to believe their other parent never loved them abandon them is unsafe or unfit. The child's reality becomes corrupted. The child feels betrayed, rejected, and hurt. We didn't know any better. We didn't know any better. We were children. That's the whole thing. We didn't know any better. I was coached before. Social workers came. I was coached before courts. I was coached before. I even went to school. If you're told something enough times, you begin to believe it, especially when you see no evidence of the contrary. I never question that it could be a lie. And I don't think children are safe to question whether or not it's a lie. Because if it's a lie, your parent is telling you horrific things to what? Hurt you? Hurt your other parent? You're a kid. It's not something you safely can consider. She started to really turn on me. And it made me, it really made me wonder, is this what my dad went through? Because I knew that I wasn't the person that she was portraying me to be. I was so young, so I didn't know my dad even existed. I was made to believe my stepfather was my biological father for the first 12 years of my life. And then when it came to light and other family members shared those truths and I discovered at that moment, my whole life, it was just like, what was my life? What is all of this?